Hey everybody, Crackberry Kevin here with a new BlackBerry Key One. And in this video, I want to quickly compare the Key One to some other BlackBerry phones on the market, even the iPhone, just to give you a sense of the size of the device. Cause that seems to be the first question I get from everybody. When you see it in photos with nothing around it, it looks really tall and thin. It's really a well-balanced phone in your hand. It feels great. But let's go down to the table and just compare it so you get a better sense of the Key One. BlackBerry.com. Okay, so here is a handful of Blackberries. We've got the Key One here beside the Priv, beside a DTEC 60. Here's the Ultra Wide Passport, the newer Blackberry Classic, and the old classic, the Bold 9900. As you can see, it fits right in, right? It doesn't look that much taller or skinnier as you might think when you just see it in photos. So first, you know, when you think about the Priv, because that comes up a lot, the actual footprint of the device is pretty much the same. The Priv might be slightly wider, uh, and I think it is slightly wider, but overall, takes up kind of a similar amount of, of space. You know, uh, the, the key one's a little bit taller. Of course, if you slide out the keyboard, then this is a different sort of beast when you look at the priv. There you can see the keyboards lined up side by side. When it comes to the Passport, which a lot of people uh, ask questions about, you can see, you know, obviously it is a much narrower keyboard on the Key One, more like your traditional Blackberries. It's been interesting, you know, some people really love the Passport's three row of uh, keys. I've never been able to fully get into it. You know, my theory is the best keyboard is the smallest keyboard possible that is still easy to type on because you're never moving your fingers as far with a phone like the Passport, you have to move your fingers so far for everything you type. It's just less efficient, even though, you know, it's, if you have big hands, it's, it's uh, not bad. It feels good to grip. Interesting compared to the Classic. So this keyboard is actually very similar in width. I think a lot of people uh, are surprised to see these two stacked up that the Key One is basically the same width, almost maybe even a tad wider. You can put it side by side for you, so you can see from the bottom of the phone. Obviously the DTEC is a full touch screen. It doesn't have a keyboard. And this is where things get really interesting because you think, oh, big screens are better. And obviously having a big screen is nice. So the interesting thing though, is when you open up, say to send an email or any messaging app you use on a full touch screen device, like the DTEC 60 here, compared to the Key One, you get a lot less screen real estate. Cause you see here, you have your full keyboard, you can still type on it. On the touch screen, it takes up a big chunk of the screen. So the same thing is true when you compare the uh, key one to other touch screen phones, in this case, an iPhone 7 plus. So here you can get a good idea of the difference in size. You know, the key one is quite a bit smaller, compare the width here, a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower, gives you a good size difference. But when it comes to typing or messaging, you know, you think on this iPhone, you have a big screen. And if you're a person who messages a lot, you can see that here, because the iPhone keyboard, touchscreen keyboard takes up so much room, you actually have a lot more messaging real estate on the Key One. And while we're looking at iPhones, I think another one we can look at is obviously the old style iPhone. So if you look at just how different these screens are, screen size wise, the Key One is a lot taller still than the old iPhone and, and obviously a lot wider. So the key one's uh, screen size, you know, in the, in the few weeks I've been using it now, it's never felt like a small screen to me. In, in fact, it feels like a big screen because as you can see from my home screen, messaging is what I do a lot of all day long. This is really a communication device and then a lot of other stuff on top of it. But that screen real estate and keyboard there all the time has been a fantastic experience. Okay, that's it. I hope that gives you a better idea of the size of the Key One. I can't wait for you to get your hands on it yourself and you'll feel just how awesome it is in the hand. Until next time though, subscribe to this channel. I want you not to miss any of the videos I do. That's it, Kevin out.